Stuff from Nigeria. That's cool. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Kila Alo, and this is my amazing dope YouTube channel. I'm in my bathroom and I'm wearing this nice piece, two piece lingerie. Oh, I'm knocking things down. So this is how it looks. It reaches here and you can tie it. There are some strings and then there's another upper tie that you can tie. Lord, can you give me a break? Yeah, you gotta give me a break too. A few moments later. So, before I was rudely interrupted. Yes, as I was saying, it is. it reaches here. It has a small slit. And there's another tie on top, but I don't want to tie because I'm feeling hot. So I just want to be like free, free baby. Yes. So this video is about my keratin update, hair update. And I have my hair right now in these three big braids that my daughter did. My hair is so itchy. I want an afro. So I want to show you how it looks. After you've done uh, keratin, I want to show you how it looks when you have an afro on. So, because it's a little bit softer compared to the other afro. Yeah. So this is uh, how many months? I think I did around, was it July? July? I think I did my, I can't remember when I did my keratin, but it's around June or May, around May or June last year. So this is like almost a one year update. And this is how my hair looks with this little braid. I want to go apply some oil, just basic stuff. So just to take care of my hair, to moisturize my hair. And this is a product I'm going to use. This is olive oil. I lost the lids. So I picked this from another argan oil I had and um, it does <laughs> not such a pretty job. I'm also going to add this hair serum. This one is so old. And then I'm going to use also this coconut oil. So these are just basically to moisturize my hair. Yes. Let me see if I have that argan oil because I can't find, seem to find it. And then we go somewhere else. I need to sit. I don't like standing while I do my hair or do anything because I'm a walking baby. I'd rather walk than stand uh, to one place for a number of hours or minutes. So I'd rather be on the walking, walking than stand in one place. And uh, this is my... Ooh, I can see. Let me just look and then we go to another location. It's me again. And uh, let's start this hair. My hair is a little bit itchy. It is Black History Month. And I wanted to support Black, to highlight Black businesses and Black events that are going on this month. And I went to this salon. It is a nail spa, nail salon, nail spa. And I thought it was like a black owned, but I was, I don't know why I thought it was a black owned because I saw a black lady work there. I don't know why, but I went and I wanted to book that lady, but the day I was going, she was not available. So I could not book her and I was like, okay, it's okay. Even if it's like, uh, if she does not uh, do my hair that day, it's still supporting black business, you know, that's what I was thinking. But no, it was not. It turned out it was not a black business. It is like a Indian kind of business. Like it's uh, the owner is Indian. Is this like a black owned business? Or no, it's, not? it's brown. Like 
Indian. Indian? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I thought it was black. It's cool, right? It's cool. You don't see anything like this. Do you here. sell those clothes there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so. Some of these are not I, all kinds of stuff. I mean, like, especially the bikinis. Huh. The jeans, the, the jacket jeans. They're so beautiful. All right. I didn't see the price. I was looking to see if there's like a price or something. It was okay. At least I know where it is and uh, I know the rates. I know the lady, the black lady who works there. She's one of the best workers, like the senior artists. She's one of the best there. So they're like two or three best artists. And uh, she's one of them. According to her page, her Instagram page, she does great job. I was hoping she will do my hair, my nails, but she was not working that day. So it is what it is. Next time, baby. Next time. Yeah, so the lady who did my hair, my nails did this. It was a different kind of acrylic that I have never done before. They just put stuff on your nails and they pinch it with something to stay still. Painful. Very painful. So these are my nails. They're extra long. <laughs> Ooh, but I'm eating some quesadillas. Yes, and these are my nails. Anyways, this is my hair. You see, this is keratin hair. Almost one year after I did it. And this is how it looks. It's very soft. Like, I feel like it's easily manageable. My, my hair is also two colors because I dyed my hair. I was going for blonde because I wanted to do crochet blonde crochets i wanted everything from the roots to look blonde but this is how it turned out it is very far from blonde and th this is how my hair looks it has two colors <laughs> i like it it's so beautiful there was this african event that i went to i met this lady a nigerian lady who invited me for african event so I was like, oh, it was like in two, I met her and she said, it's in two days. It's like feed, feed the people until they can't eat anymore. I can't remember how the, the, what the flyers said, but it's like fill the whole community. It was free food. You go there, you can donate if you want. She was inviting any black. She was like when, while driving, when she sees any black person, she will invite them. And she put flyers everywhere. So it was not only for the blacks or African community, but also everyone. She was inviting everyone. So she had flyers and it's just that she wanted everyone to experience the African cuisine and culture. So that's why she was inviting everyone. And uh, I decided to go with my daughter because I want my daughter to, you know, also experience other culture, learn about other cultures, and not only to be on a phone all the time, but also learn the culture, learn everything. We went around one. We were very hungry. So we took a bus and where we, we were stopped, it was like a few more minutes to that place. So we decided let's get some boba. And we, she loves boba, so it was a treat. My boba experience have not been so good. So I also wanted to try another one and I loved the boba experience that day. It was so yummy. But we went to this boba shop and then we went, we walked down to the, to where the event was. And there were people there. The day before I met these ladies and uh, they are from Guyana. I didn't even know there's a place called Guyana. <laughs> so I'm so embarrassed. So when they told me they are from Guyana, I'm like, Guyana. I didn't tell them I don't know, but I was like, where is Guyana? So when I went home, I googled. I had to google and find out the people who live there. And it's like in America, North America. But mostly it's blacks. Yes. They also knew about the event and they told me they'll come. So I, I was so excited to go because I knew there will be other cultures, other part of the world that I have never known, I've never heard before or I know, but the African culture, like there will be different African culture. And yeah, there were people, there were Ga Ghanaians, there were Angolans, Angolians, Angolans, there were Nigerians, 
there were not so many people because it was like come eat and go so people were coming and it was starting at 11 so people are coming at different times they some will eat and then go or you can stay and hang around if you want so i went to that event it was okay it was nice it's just that it was more of the food it was the lady who organized it was an, uh, a nigerian lady and uh, it's like they have this group with also another Ghanaian lady who she, the, the nigerian lady told me it was the Ghanaian lady's idea or something organized it the food there was Ghanaian or nigerian the egusi jollof rice what else i can't remember <laughs> The food was yummy. The food was so yummy and spicy. My God, how do people eat spicy food? I can't. I can't even believe people. I asked for mild. There's these spices that were mild and they were so hot. I could barely. I'm like, what if I asked for the hot one? I'll be dying. But the food was yummy. Different people came from different races. Everyone was there. Like everyone was invited. That was the point. And you could donate if you want two dollars, one dollar, whatever you had or whatever you wanted. So that was a good cause. And I was just wondering how you know the way. Like I've said, I didn't even know there was this like Guyanese countries. For me, like I mingled with some people. I want to add a uh, coconut oil on my hair. When I mingled, is when I realized some people are from, you know, these countries. And I was just thinking, what if, you know, what if there were different food from different part of the world? Like if you're from, you know, Angola, like the Angolans, you know, I don't know what they eat. I don't even know, like, you know, they're African, but I don't know their culture. You know, that is like a teachable moment. If you are from Angola, if you're from Guyana, if you're from uh, Zaire, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Uganda, if you're from Somalia, Ethiopia, Tanzania, or any part of Africa. And you hear about these events because I was asking uh, the lady, the host, or the, yeah, the host, if you can, like for me, I'm from Kenya, if I can bring my if I can also participate like next time, come there because the co the food were being cooked there. So if they have this kind of event, I also like say, oh, can I have a space to make Kenyan food so that the people who come there, they can also enjoy or can, of course they'll enjoy it, but can know they say, oh, this is from Kenya. This is from Nigeria. This is from Angola. This is from Uganda. You know, because every, that's the beauty of Africa. Every part you go, there's this, they have this, their own food, their own culture. It can be something you eat, but it's made differently. Like if it's rice, the rice is worldwide. But the Angolans, there's a way they make their rice. The Nigerians, there's a way they make their rice. That's why it's jollof rice same as ghana kenyans there's a way we make our rice we have pilau we have pilau jerry there's mchele jerry we have different you know like it doesn't have to be rice but my point is like the african community like if you hear of an event like that and it's african and maybe there's food you can ask if your country is represented they like if your country is represented and if it's not you can volunteer to represent your country yeah like the way i asked and they told me sure but even if it's like not the group like if for example the way i met the lady the way lady who gave me who invited me i would have asked her who which other country would be representing their food that sh that's what i should have asked and if i i see kenya is not there i should have asked oh can i can i bring our food can be anything. Doesn't have to be a lot of food if they don't want a lot of food or if you can just make a little food so that a few people can enjoy whatever is from your country. It is a way of knowing the food culture from different parts of Africa. Like if you have an event like this, sometimes it's like a market, like African market you have maybe african things and you and you ask can i bring something from africa and put it there on this place so that it can be sold or some people can people will be interested because they're cute like if you hear this 
events are happening ask if your country is being represented because there are a lot of immigrants who are in these countries and they feel like they're not represented and also some people are shy they don't know how to like start a conversation but if you go and you see your food there you're like oh is this from my country my mama motherland and if they say yes that can be like a conversation starter you can find someone from your community make friends educate other people about your community because i realize people are really interested people have like different perception about africa and Sometimes people are shocked that there are things in Africa. Like the things they see in the news is different from what is actually in Africa. Well, this is Africa. And 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 this is Africa. It was a nice event overall. Good food. And it was in a great location. A lot of people came. And there's also like donations. I liked it. I don't know if there are like a lot of other like African celebration that happened in other places but that is the only one i i knew about yeah so this is how my hair looks of just i was just oiling it so that it is a little bit moisturized and I'm finished so for me the keratin hair it's a little bit easy to manage it's not as soft as it, as it was the first time like the first time it was a little bit fine like it will just it will just land on my face <laughs> but this one i prefer this one than the hard they were combing like i can like comb my hair like this from the roots up but the other one what so i feel like i still have my afro but it's a little bit different the afro is also a little bit different more fluffy more more fluffy the other one is just too it stays you can't shake it it doesn't move the more i continue having the hair if i don't retouch it it will go back like it will go back slowly to the original but it will take a while maybe two years or three years this one is like back to the original but the, this part is a little bit softer it's more it's like relaxed it's just as it's just that one is natural so they say i blow dry it sometimes like it's easier to manage to blow dry compared to my other hair like i can't say i've lost any hair i still like lose like you know these small small ones like this one you see it's still shed but i'm still able to maintain my hair like it's easier to maintain like i blow dried my hair two weeks ago and it's still like this like i haven't braided i just do the braids that i had these small bad braids my hair is also a little bit longer i'm so happy it has like growth this is how i maintain my hair it's easier i have this other curl gel curly gel sometimes i use that to make my hair a little bit curly so i feel I, I love that it can be curly it can be curly and also it can be straight this is how i do and i want to make it like an, an afro i'm going to use this old stocking it's not old but small doesn't fit anyone comb the hair now my hair it's all moisturized it's more all oiled and i also love like the the coconut oil i feel like it makes the hair grow we used to be told when we were young that coconut oil make your hair grow and uh kind of believe it and i use the pure coconut oil pure 100 <laughs> percent extra virgin i always say these people who say extra virgin are just being extra because how can you be extra virgin extra what did you add to make it a little bit extra this is how the afro looks and this is basically my keratin hair update i get asked this question where is the keratin hair update 
and I think I've done it before. I've already done the keratin update in another video, but someone didn't watch. So she leaves messages and I'm like, okay, let me just update again. And this is how it is. The updates are different. So this is like a different update. And can even put it like that. Me like, I like it. <laughs> to the bank i've just been scammed like some money like a thousand dollars i'm going to the bank and see what they can do about it that's my current life situation i hope they're able to fix it that's why i'm just doing simple facial pre prep preparation oh just simple facial thing nothing extraordinary i'll use this dr Oops, broke it. <laughs> This is my simple look of the day and I am headed to sort out some financial issues that I have. Thank you guys for watching this channel. My name is Kila Alo. Please subscribe and uh, follow me on my other social media platforms and also tell a friend to tell a friend. See you on my next video. Mwah.